Kelly Kaufman, the travel mom, here with another travel talk. One of the things I love about visiting Mexico is the amazing food. So I'm super excited today to have Chef David from Pacifico Beach Club in Punta Mita, who's going to teach us how to make a Mexican food staple. Hey, Chef, how are you? Hi, everyone. Okay, for today we're going to prepare a Mexican salsa. So we need only four ingredients for this uh, recipe. We need a tomato, we need a white onion, we have a lime, and the uh, cilantro leaves. So we want to start with chopping the tomato. We're gonna put it in a mixing bowl. We need to use uh, the whole tomato with the uh, seeds because they have flavor too and it's more juicy. For this recipe, we need the, the juice from the tomatoes. We're gonna use a white onion. We're gonna use the cilantro leaves in the shop. And if you want to make it a more Mexican or more flavor, you can use the. You can use uh, green bell pepper. This is not a spicy when you get that you're gonna have uh, the, all the flavor from the chili into the salsa. So you could use other peppers as well, jalapeno peppers, serrano pepper, different types of peppers, correct? Of course, if you want to make it a, a spicy, you can put it on uh, the jalapeno pepper or the serrano pepper. This is more spicy and you want more, you can use the habanero too. But it's really, really spicy, it's really hot. So you look like you just chopped all these ingredients. You're going to mix them all together in the bowl. Yep. And then do you have to use them that same day, or can this keep for a few days? No, it's for using the, the, the same day. It's You need to make it always fresh because they have, uh, it's for more flavor. Okay, the lime juice. I'm gonna finish with uh, sea salt and fresh black pepper. So we're gonna mix all of these ingredients. And this is the final. Wow, can you lift it up so we can see it? That is beautiful. And you've got chips in there. Um, I understand you guys make your own chips there as well. Yeah, we make the our chips. We, we made it uh, all into the beach clip. You need to, you only need to cut the tortilla in four pieces and then deep fry it. In a low heat, uh, in a low heat uh, temperature, you need to fry it like uh, five minutes, and that's it. It's too easy for me, and it's a really good snack for our. Well, chef, it's been a pleasure talking with you. Thank you for sharing the recipe with us. I can't wait to make it to Punta Mita.